So, Miles Davis, kind of blue. Um, as some of you might know, I studied jazz guitar um, at the conservatory in Holland. Uh, that was mainly uh, bebop. And of course, Miles Davis, he's a jazz musician and he's pretty much a pioneer of all uh, musical styles. He was so diverse. And I think that this album got me inter interested in, in jazz music in the first place. This is a pretty easy listening jazz album, but I still really, really love it. And it has some sentimental value, of course, because while I was studying at the conservatory, I was, you know, transcribing his, his horn solos and stuff on guitar. And um, yeah, every time I listen to this one, it brings back some good uh, memories. And um, yeah, so I can say that this album pretty much changed my life as a, as a guitar player. This is the album that got me into jazz music. Oh, the band that got me into uh, heavy metal and playing guitar is, uh, as, as most of you know, is Iron Maiden. And um, the very first song I heard uh, by Iron Maiden is the live version of this album, um, Life After Death, uh, Run to the Hills. I remember a friend of mine gave me a cassette tape, a copied cassette tape, and uh, I think that I, I started to play Side B first, and that was Run to the Hills, and I was I was blown away that that was so cool because I knew Iron Maiden already from you know the pictures of Eddie on on the on the denim jackets of all the the, the 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 older kids. I was 11 or 12 at the time that I listened to this, and. Um, Together with this one, this album, Peace of Mind, uh, this album is, I think, the very first album on cassette tape that I bought. And um, I, I recently found that cassette tape in a box that was lying in my attic, and I played it for fun and just couldn't hear anything anymore. So that's how often I played that cassette tape. And um, as a tribute to this album cover, I have, I have this one uh, tattooed on my arm. I'll show you later if you want. Um, so yeah, Iron Maiden is the band that got me into playing guitar in the first place and uh, uh, the band that introduced me into the world of heavy metal. So I'm, uh, I'm eternally grateful to them. So um, yeah, two of uh, my very important albums in my life. Alright, another album in my journey of uh, the, the five most important albums that changed my life is Dream Theater's Images and Words. Um, I remember that I was almost asleep, but I had Headbangers Ball playing on the, on the TV. And I was you know, dozing off and all of a sudden this video of, of Take The Time came on. And then there was this section of the uh, keyboard and the electric guitar playing uh, in unison. Some really, you know, uh, very difficult, complicated stuff. And I was wide awake all of a sudden. I was like, well, what the hell? Great. So the day after, I picked up this CD and uh, wow, that, that really, this is actually the album that made me decide to become a professional musician. Um, I don't know why exactly, but I th well, when when I started to read about this band, I, I read that they all met in, in music college at Berkeley, and I was like, oh yeah, that's so great, you know, because I'm I'm from a pretty small town in the Netherlands and I had some friends who were playing music but I didn't have that many people ar ar around me that, that were into playing music and heavy music and stuff so I was like okay if I go to a music college then, then you know I, I will meet some great people over there which I did and I met some great people like Mike our uh, kind of new drummer in with Temptation I, I know him from karate class actually but uh, me and him we studied at the conservatory and um, so that's where I started to know Mike in a musical way. And um, so yeah, that's thanks to this album here, Images and Words by Dream Theater. So, another very important album in my musical life is Black Sabbath's Paranoid. And the reason for that is, besides, you know, in my opinion, Black Sabbath invented heavy metal. And not only in my opinion, um, it's almost a well known fact. But um, the song Paranoid was the very first, well one of the very first songs that I played in one of my first bands when I was like 14 or 15 or something like that. It's a pretty easy song and it's still one of the songs that I teach um, to people who just started out playing guitar, especially if they want to uh, become a heavy metal guitar player. 
it's a perfect song for uh, people who are just starting out to, to, to begin with. Um, it's pretty it's pretty easy, but it, it contains some typical um, heavy metal uh, techniques like like the palm mute and the, and the hammer-ons and the pull-offs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so in two ways, this 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 album and especially the song Paranoid is uh, influenced me as a guitar player big time. So another album that changed my life. Um, it's Megadeth's uh, Rest in Peace. And maybe the reason for that is that, you know, maybe my generation, or at least a lot of people that I know who are my age, started out with Iron Maiden. But after a while, you start to look for something heavier. And a natural band that comes out that is it's Metallica, Anthrax, but also Megadeth. And I think that this is such a great metal album uh, with some excellent guitar playing by both Dave Mustaine and, and uh, Marty Friedman. I studied his, his solos, I still do occasionally, but I can never pull it off, but it's still it's fun to try. And um, yesterday was on the same plane as, as Sharon and me, we were flying from LA to New York here, and uh, I actually got to meet him for the very first time, so that was... Uh, that was nice. I felt like a fanboy. I uh, had sweaty hands and I was like, oh, I'm a fan of your music. Well, actually, I had Sharon say that because I was too scared. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so this is also one of my favorites. Um, I realized that I only showed you pretty old albums. But I, 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 I listen to some, uh, some modern music as well, but maybe that's for uh, another episode. So uh, there you go, five or six of my favorite albums.